The GameCube version of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex features connectivity with the Game Boy Advance. Easily available from the main menu, players have immediate access to Crash Bash, a downloadable score-based minigame playable on the GBA. Just connect the GBA to the cube with the link cable, select the Crash Bash option, and the game will be sent to the GBA. It takes a few seconds to install, so just be a little patient and the game can be played until the power is shut off. Crash Bash is a simple gallery shooter for one or two alternating players. Before the game begins, the demo mode informs the player to shoot the bad guys to earn points. Shoot the good guys and receive a score penalty. The goal is to earn 100 points before time expires and without losing all of your apple-based ammo. Oddly, the beginning rounds are set at an awkward 36 seconds. But with gameplay this simple and repetitive, it's the right amount of time. Using the D-pad to move the cursor in A to shoot, you'll need to conserve your ammo, making each shot count. Run out of ammo and you'll be hit with an early game over, but ammo can be restored by shooting wooden crates. Unfortunately, there is no music, which makes the gameplay feel even worse and more boring. Probably due to the very limited RAM space inside the empty GBA. But the typical crash yelp and ding sound effects will annoyingly trigger a good dozen times over the 36 second match. While I think it's cool that the devs created an exclusive minigame just for this cube release, it isn't anything special and you're not going to want to play it for more than a couple of rounds. And if anything, this downloadable minigame acts as a commercial for the then future GBA release of Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure as the player receives this toughest adventure yet FYI screen at the conclusion of the match. Personally, I think the single pack link multiplayer mode found in Crash Purple and Spiral Orange on Game Boy Advance are much more entertaining, especially the Pong slash Warlords clone. To learn about this forgotten one cartridge multiplayer mode, I'll leave a link to that video in the description so you can compare the difference between that minigame and this one for yourself. But with such short gameplay and lack of depth, it really isn't worth the hassle to connect a GBA with Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex. There are much better uses of the GameCube to GBA link cable, but it's still cool that there's an exclusive piece of content here. But what do you think? Did you play any Crash game on Cube or GBA? Did you ever use the GameCube to GBA link cable? Do you know that Bandicoots are only found in Australia, have an average lifespan of 5 years, and the name translates to Pig Rat? Do you want me to include more stupid Wikipedia facts in my future videos? Let me know in the comments. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.